Thank you. Have a good day. You too. All that froth. <laughs> On my way to my Tuesday morning show. I first need to just rewind and start this whole episode over. So let's do that right. Hey, what's up, you guys? Thanks so much for tuning in today. Welcome to episode 1.5. This is my second vlog, first official episode. I'm calling this why I moved to Nashville 12 years ago. Today I was supposed to play a show, got canceled, they're renovating the bar, doing some really incredible upgrades, uh, making a whole new level and a whole new floor. I noticed the last few years, all these bars are starting to build up now, so there's more stages, there's more more shifts available to play. So I wanted to vlog about the show and introduce you to the, the bars and, and take you around the city and I was gonna do that and then it started raining. So it was like, two strikes and I just decided to, to not vlog that day and then like, it, it, I, I just I just didn't wanna walk around and risk my equipment getting damaged and, and just really just, it, it was just some crappy weather. It's December in Nashville, you never know if it's gonna be 65 or 20 degrees. I wanna just kinda walk you guys through and tell you a little bit of insight about my, my story on how I became a, a singer in Nashville and, and how I do this for a living and, and kind of how that works. So let me just start off by saying I moved here in the end of 05. So literally 12 years ago, I moved here. I said goodbye to my friends. I said goodbye to Indianapolis, Indiana. I said goodbye to my parents and my family. And it was hard, it was a challenge. I was so hungry to, to fulfill this dream that I decided to load up a U-Haul or two travel down here, get a place, not knowing anyone, and just really go out on a huge limb and sink or swim. Fast forward 12, 12 years and a month, I have songs written with professional songwriters that are published writers. An EP that I cut a few years ago, all of my music is on any digital streaming avenue. You can buy my music on iTunes, you can buy my music on Microsoft, you can buy my music on Pandora, you can buy it on Spotify, you can listen to it on all those digital streaming avenues if you pay a monthly membership. And, and I play five to seven times a week. And, and it's so crazy to think that I literally walk into a bar and I do something that I passionately love and, and I make money out of it. And, and that's what anyone that has a dream that grinds and, and just works so hard to do. Now where I'm at now creatively is, you know, I, I play, I don't know, you can do the math, five times 52, that's like 200 and, it's over 200 shows a year. I don't know what the math is off the top of my head, but. Some of those are out of town, some of those are hundreds of miles away. I go play weekend shows out of town. I've traveled three-fourths of this country playing music. And and where I'm at now is I have a family, I'm married, and, and, and going out of town and, and, and being out so much late at night, it, my priorities have just changed. You know, it used to be I just wanted to travel and play music and it didn't matter, you know, I, I, I just wanted to travel the country and get paid to do what I love. That's what I wanted to do. And now what it's become to is family and, 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 and being close to my kids and, and, and being home with my wife. Those things are what I truly have a passion in my heart is just for these days. I still love singing, I still love doing music, I still love performing on stage, but it's just trying to find a balance where that fits in for me. And, and that's just a little insight, you know, I'm gonna talk about this and feel free to comment below if you have any questions. I would love to just give you guys, especially the folks out there that are listening, any of the people out there that are listening that are just contemplating taking that step and following their dream, whatever that desire is. If you're coming to Nashville to play music, Nashville is the place to come if you want to be in the music industry. It's literally evolved from all these other states, New York, LA, Miami, Chicago, wherever you live. I know tons of people that have moved here from all over the country 
to play music and to be a singer and to perform and write and try to make it in the music industry. And and for me, those things are still my dream, but it's it's just slowly transitioned to other things. You know, creatively, I'm, I, I'm starting to get into photography and more on a professional level and making films on a professional level. It's part of the reason why I started this vlog. I want to try to incorporate that. And I'm doing this short challenge. I just want to be fit creatively. And that's, that's really what my passion is inside. I, I, I could tell you a list of things that I've done that's in the creative things and, and you know some of the things you guys be like, oh my gosh, I didn't know you would ever do that or you never seemed like you would ever do that. Um, cake decorating to uh, you know crafts to woodworking to you know anything that is literally creating something out of nothing. That's really like where my heart sets and music is something that I kind of just had a strong desire to do and it evolved into where it's at now. You know, I, I get called to play shows every week. I pick up shifts and you know, and for some of you guys that wonder how we do this for a living, let me just paint it out for you like this. In Nashville alone, just in downtown, 300 stages, 300 shifts, 300 shows a week. That means if you're a singer or you're a musician, you have 300 opportunities a week to literally make money singing versus in your town where you're from. I know with Indianapolis, most likely they have a show, a band that plays, a house band that might play Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or they might only do a Friday, Saturday, or you, you, you might play this hole in the wall bar, or this, this bigger bar, I mean, back in Indianapolis, there's a few bigger venues. But you didn't have opportunity to play four times a day, five, six, seven times a week. So that's how it happens. You take that, that number of whatever the bar pays you times six, times seven, times 10. Some of these guys work 15 shifts a week and that's that's pulling doubles and triples for some of these musicians. Um, you know, so those guys out there are grinding every day, just really pushing through. Um, you know, that, that's how we literally can make a living, live off of playing music is the tours come to town, we perform in the bars, we work for your tips, we get paid a little bit from the bars. Really quick story, my, my vlogging setup uh, you know, I, I almost broke my camera. My, my stomach and heart literally like plastered all over the, the concrete where I was walking downtown on Tuesday. The Joby stick that I was using had a quick release button. I wasn't using like the professional line. I just bought one to save a few bucks and man, did that really change instantly. So I'm not ready to go out. I should have my package tomorrow, which I think I'm gonna open it on camera. Package. Do you have a package? Do you have a package? Do you have a package? Dang it. <laughs> I'm expecting something. My wife doesn't know I'm gonna open it. <laughs> Bye. Shoot. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Please like my channel. Please subscribe to my channel. Please hit that alarm button so you're notified anytime I upload a video. If you'd like to see any shorts out there or you have any ideas for that, please let me know. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great weekend.